Hi, it's the second book anniversary of the first book that I published in the My Monster series called Hank the Hungry Monster, a book that I wrote to help uh, children stand up to OCD. I decided to call him Hank the Hungry Monster because OCD was once likened to me as being like a hungry monster, but he doesn't ever get full. The more you feed him, the more he wants, but he doesn't feed on food, he feeds on power. So I introduce him as moving into his own home, new home. Then I introduce his first victim, who is Annabelle. And within the story, it all begins, because usually with OCD in children, there is usually a trigger point, something that makes them so fearful of ever happening again, that they'll do anything to protect themselves, not for it to happen again. And in this case, can you see that Annabelle is being made fun of by her friends about a little bit of sunburn on her nose? So she gets really anxious and of course Hank then sees his opportunity to move into her head and to fill her with messages and he, I, I portray the compulsions and the obsession side of the illness with a game that he likes to play. See there he is sort of homing in on her. You can see that she looks really sad there. She presses his controls and tells her, see by coincidence the controls are O, C and D, and he tells her she needs to wash her face. But then when she finishes, he presses another button to say that she needs to do it again. And that's how the compulsions start coming in as part of OCD. So I'm introducing how children feel they have to do a compulsion over and over again in order to try and calm the thoughts. Or well, in this case, in my book, I call him Hank. So there she is again, uh, washing her face. And then there's the teacher, Mrs. Carmel. And she notices that she's doing all these things. And she has a quiet chat with her. And that introduces the notion of actually opening up and confiding for children to confide in others. Because very often children with OCD uh, refrain from telling others because they're afraid that people will understand or they'll think they're going mad. So she just tells her, look, she said, lots of people may have sunburn, Annabelle, but nobody else is washing their face and, you know, and nothing's bad is happening to them. So there you can see Annabelle then, with the help of Mrs. Carmel, starting to, or Carmen I should say, starting to talk up to OCD. And when that happens, he loses his power and he's not very happy. So he packs his bag and then off he goes to his next victim and to my next book, which was Trixie the Treat Monster. If you live in the UK and you want to purchase a copy of my book to help your child with OCD, um, I'll personally sign the book. So if you put in the comments section of my website, what you'd like me, what message you'd like me to put in there, and what the child's name is, I'll actually personally write to them so they'll have to have a personal message from the author. And I also enclose a free bookmark that you'll only get on my website as well, so your child can keep their page and they can even use it to read if they're learning to read as well. Um, as I say, you can, if you're living outside the UK, you can actually book the, uh, purchase them from the book depository because I believe the book depository also offers free postage like I do on my, on my website. Um, or alternatively, there's Waterstones, there's Barnes & Noble, um, uh, Amazon. Um, obviously, they won't be signed on there, but if you're living outside the UK, at least you can still get a, your hands then on a copy of my book. So that's it from to me today. As I say, happy second birth birthday to Hank the Hungry Monster that I created out of nowhere two years ago and published. And I've done it in the hope that I will help other parents have hope uh, when they're parenting their child with OCD and to teach them how to stand up to OCD's voice.